Okay, here's my secret. In the 90s, they had this tour called The Kings of Comedy. And if, if for all of you know, The Kings of Comedy was Steve Harvey, mm -hmm. Cedric the Entertainer, D.L. Hughley, and Bernie Mac. Mm -hmm. Well, they decided that they needed to have the queens of comedy, mm -hmm. which was Monique, Samora, Adele Givens, and Laura Hayes. Mm -hmm. um, I have been offered a position in the Queens of Comedy, and I turned it down mm -hmm. uh, because I, I wanted to know the details of the deal. And you know, as comics, Aisha, yes. you know, you want to know the details of the deal. Or are you being put in a position where you're not getting get paid enough? So I was a like, lot of times uh, they'll be they're funny with their money, right? Yeah. So I was like, go on, and that's right. So I was like, go on, do your thing, fabulous. Mm -hmm. So the Queens of Comedy. Uh, end up making a tape, a uh, concert tape, mm -hmm. concert film. So they became very, very successful. Mm -hmm. And for those of us in the comedy game, especially in urban comedy, you were being questioned, why weren't you a part of... Yeah. <laughs> did you get, did you get those two? Yeah. Why weren't you a part of the Queens of Comedy? Mm -hmm. So I got an opportunity. The producer, uh, Walter Latham, called me and said, there might be an opportunity for you to work with these ladies because, you know, Monique had gone on to get the Parkers. She goes on to win Academy Awards and have a great career. So there was an opening. Mm -hmm. And they were going to tape another uh, comedy concert. So I'm thinking, here's my second chance. It's a great opportunity. I respect these women. And uh, there's a conference call. Mm -hmm. So in my uh, enthusiasm, and I want to be uh, punctual, uh, I dial into this conference call that I think has not started yet, thinking that I'm going to be... Oh, this is so juicy. Yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to be on time with this call. And I think they're going to put me in queue, because usually if you do a conference call, they put you in queue, and they say, we'll wait until the host arrives. Mm -hmm. So I dial into this call, and what I hear is... And Monique is not on this call. I hear some more Adele Givens and Laura Hayes talking about me. Oh, my God. Oh, this call. I can't take it. What's going to happen? <laughs> I hear discussions about my appearance. Oh. I hear discussions about my ability. Why is she going to be a part? What do we need her for? And this is my recollection of this call. And I was uh, startled and hurt. Uh, but... I, I, I have to say this. I, I, I was so shocked and hurt that I could not unmute my phone and go, hey, bitch, I hear you. <laughs> you know, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I, I, I was, I was, I was, I was like, you know, I was like, they talking about me, you know? You also keep wanting to hear what they were saying, or did you feel like you wanted to? Hell yeah. 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 So I, yeah. I stayed on all of the call. Wow. With my phone on mute, but I thought, take notes. Yeah. Listen, because rarely would we hear someone talking about us mm -hmm. and saying what they truly feel mm -hmm. about us. So I'm like, oh, oh okay, right on, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, I, well, I ain't did that, but you know. <laughs> and and then and then a after I listened to all this, and 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 I want every woman to hear this. I was bruised, mm -hmm. but I wasn't broken. Yeah. I wasn't broken. So... I listened to the entire call. I waited for everybody to click off, and I called Walter Latham, and I said, I don't think this is going to be a great fit for me, mm -hmm. but I hope that these women will go on and do great things. Mm -hmm. To this day, they did not know that I was on this call. Oh, yeah. They did not know. They did not know. And, and, and it gets better. I have worked with Laura Hayes on Beauty Shop after this call. I worked with Adele Givens on Hilarious after this call. I, I just saw some more at the Neighborhood Awards in Atlanta after this call because I decided, instead of being angry and vengeful, I decided to take the truth of what they're saying and their right to have an opinion and make myself an even better person. And I know you're probably thinking, well, why are you saying it now? Because I'm right where I belong. <laughs> I'm not mad at any of these 
these women, I thank them for the blessing of telling me something that maybe I needed to hear because this is where I needed to get to and they helped me get there.